My name is Matt Garbarino. I'm the marketing manager for Cincinnati Incorporated based out of Harrison, Ohio. We manufacture machine tools. Uh, we're a 117 year old company. Our primary products are actually metal fab equipment, laser cutting equipment, press brake shears, powdered metal presses. And as of two years ago, bam, big area additive manufacturing. For the BAM machine, it is a basically a big 3D printer that comes in two different sizes and it prints big and that's how we came up with the name. And uh, right now it prints resins, plastics uh, for the foreseeable future, long term uh, possibly metals. And it's used for either rapid prototyping or tooling, at least that's where we're seeing the applications today. There's two size machines we have. The smaller of the two can print in an envelope of six feet wide by 12 feet deep and then three feet high. But the bigger machine, which the car, the Cobra that you may have seen, uh, was printed on a machine that actually can print eight feet wide, 20 feet deep, and then six feet high. Local Motors is actually our first customer and they actually are, uh, were involved with the first 3D printed car several years ago at the IMTS show in Chicago, which made uh, international news. That car, the body of it, the chassis, the fenders was all printed on our smaller machine. They've since actually bought three of our machines of that size, and their business model is to have those at these micro factories where they can actually print custom cars for customers. Yeah, we were approached actually by the show to uh, support the theme that they had, which was more of a space theme, where they uh, wanted to involve a variety of uh, exhibitors that could uh, show off what they do from scanning and from software and the actual 3D printing. So we had volunteered to do the 3D printing part of it since we knew we could make a large size of this capsule. So we went ahead and did that. We didn't finish uh, it at all, so what you see on exhibit today is actually the raw version of that capsule that came right off our machine. Well, we tried to bring a few of our 3D displays that we've printed at past shows. So, for example, when you come into the show, you'll see a, a scaled-down F-22 Raptor, and you will also see a kayak. The F-22 Raptor is actually completely finished. Uh, one of our partner companies, True Design, did the finishing of that. And then the kayak actually illustrates um, three phases of what you typically see in 3D printing. The raw coming right off the machine, and then a coating, in this case a polyurethane coating, and then painting. So that's meant to not only show the size of what you could do, but the three phases that you would typically see when you're uh, 3D printing and finishing a product. We get inquiries from all kinds of industries. Uh, where we have seen the biggest traction is actually for uh, tool or mold making, and actually uh, rapid prototyping, which would make sense. And it's really varied in industries from aerospace to automotive to marine. And uh, really, what, quite honestly, what's dictating our path is the customers that approach us and what projects we think we're able to tackle.